would you bid? Twenty-seven dollars to buy. Number twenty-seven, number twenty-nine, number twenty-nine, number twenty-nine, number thirty, number thirty dollars. Now a half, thirty and a half. Now one, number thirty-one and a half. Number number two. Number number three. Number number four. Number number five. Number number six. Number number seven. Number number eight. Here's a better shot of the spoon. It's got a design on it. Kind of cool. To start with the impact. Okay, so we got a beep here. We're not gonna show you the beep because I'm getting tired, but found this nice little find. It looks like it was part of a container, like a you know, maybe it had like a little hinge on it and opened up. Kind of hard to say. There might be the bottom part in there. I'm not sure. We'll have to check it out. But anyway, nice little find. If you can hear this, got an overload. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's a there's a nice horseshoe. I always seem to find a lot of these things, but not gonna say no. So yeah, that's cool really rusty. We've had so much rain that the ground is so saturated. I'm probably picking up mostly iron. That's why it got, and it wasn't deep. So that's a cool find. So we got a hit here. You can hear a little iron in there. You can see the reading. Huh. There we go. What's that? Could have been a... Uh, Saddle link? Something with a saddle. Maybe uh, it had a buckle that went on here. It's hard to say. Close to hold I did. Yeah? This gave like an overload tone. But I like stuff like that because it's got a shape to it. And it was not, not deep. Okay, so we got a hit here. I can see the target. It doesn't look like it's old. But a little old I don't know maybe 50s 60s something like that maybe just guessing I think this was maybe a cigarette lighter back in the day hi this is low boy digging California we got a uh, permission hunt or I got a permission hunt up in the gold country to hunt an area that, as you can see, looks like total chaos. But there is a road on this property. This guy owns 10 acres. I want to go hunt over there, but can't swim across the creek. So, but anyway, up through this area and over down where you see the bend of the creek, there was a road that dates back to the 1800s. Looks like a little flat area up there. Um, and uh, they think that might be the road he's talking about. He said the uh, area narrows down to like a couple of feet and that's where the bottles were. So let's see what we can find, all right? So you can see uh, some of the pottery. That's uh, broke or glass or cups. It's kind of scattered all through here. There's some more there. Um, so we found the road, runs right across uh, by the creek, and there's going to be a mix of uh, probably a lot of junk. You can see that's the road. I'm using uh, the sifter program, so full tones. Let's see what we got. Look at this dirt. It's like a sandy, gritty dirt. It's pretty cool. Oh, there it is. So, it's uh, definitely a buckle. 
definitely an old one. Um, definitely looks like it was made by a blacksmith, just by the marks I can see on it. Because this is where they said the bottles were, and I found a lot of broken bottles. I know if uh, Bill Ladd was here, he'd be he'd be pulling this side apart and pulling out stuff. But uh, you know, you sometimes you just miss stuff, and you just see there's all sorts of broken glass um, pottery. Um, but I did manage to find these, and I dug these out, and. Uh, these are pretty cool. So, uh, got some nice little bottles and insulator there. Old bottle, old bottle. I think this is old too. Um, so, this is a nice, uh, a nice find. Um, and there might be more glasses. Sometimes you just, you don't see it. You have to kind of really look for it. Um, most of the stuff I dug out was broken. I had kind of like some blue glass and I was like, oh, this is boom. It was like broken. Oh.